Hello everyone, this is davening outside of shul number four, and I'd like to speak today about davening on the way home from work. Many a times you're on a highway, there's traffic, or you left the office late, whatever it might be, it's time for mincha, the sun is setting, and you need to stop to daven mincha. What do you do? I have to admit, I've always had a very warm place in my heart for people that literally on the highway stop in Davin Mincha. In Israel, it's very common. Anytime you're 10 minutes before Shkia, 10 minutes before sunset, you look on the side of the road, it's a bunch of people stop, not for a minion, but every few meters you'll see a car stopped and a guy shuckling, and it's a beautiful sight. However, I think they are all wrong. And I'd like to not quote myself, I'd like to quote a great Gadol Israel that died in 1986 named Rav Yaakov Kamenetsky who was not only a great gadol, he was also a great posek. Not all Lithuanian gedolim had the ability to paskin halacha for various reasons. He learned in a kolo that taught him how to paskin. So therefore he was a posek. And people asked him, they're coming back to Muncie where he lived, and it's time for Mincha, what to do? And he paskined as follows. Stop in a rest stop, namely off the road, and daven in your car sitting down. First of all, stop in a rest stop. Why did he say that? He doesn't explain, but I will offer my explanation because it's impossible to really have kavana when you're on the highway and cars are shooting past you and it's very difficult to have kavana for davening. You may say the words, but I'm pretty sure you're more worried about getting run over than you are about the davening. Number two. He said, daven in your car, not standing up for a very simple reason. People are going to look at you and think you're nuts. You know, they see a guy with a skull cap and he's shuckling. To make a long story short, he didn't want that to happen. That would also divert your kavana. And therefore he said, daven sitting down. Everybody knows that you're a lot of daven sitting down when you have no choice. So in Israel, I'm pretty sure you can take away the second clause simply because people are used to seeing religious Jews daven. But outside of Israel, I think his words have to be taken to heart. And then he said something interesting, which is no longer relevant today. But for those that uh, don't have hair like me or do have hair but are older, ultimately, they can probably remember something called a phone booth. And many Jews would go into a phone booth, not to look strange, and would say the davening by holding a receiver to their ears. He said this was gezela. This was no less than stealing from the phone company. Because maybe someone's waiting outside to use the phone, and you're stopping them. Not because you're using the phone, which is your right, which is what the phone company wants, to put in those nickels and dimes and quarters, but rather because you're davening. So, a very astute comment about davening on the way home from work. And just to sum up, number one, not on the road. Daven in a rest stop, daven off the road where you can have kavana. Number two, if needed, sitting down as is the halacha in Shulchan Aruch. There is a difference of opinion he doesn't bring. If you did daven sitting down, should you daven afterwards standing up to make up for it? That's a difference of opinion. It happens to be the code of Jewish law is stringent on this point, but many poskim are not. And usually when you daven mincha on the road, that's not a relevant point because it's going to be shkia, and then it's going to be dark by the time you get home. So therefore, it's not possible to daven mincha again. So to sum up, if you are stuck on the way home and you need to daven, off the road in a quiet place, and if need be, sitting down in your car. I say again, in Israel, I think you could stand up. People are used to it. It wouldn't arouse curiosity, and you still have proper kavana.